Browning of foods is a common occurrence in a kitchen. There are three major types of browning in foods, caramelization, Maillard reactions, and enzymatic browning. Some types of browning, such as the toasting of bread, is desirable, whereas other types, such as the discoloration of a cut apple, are undesirable and to be avoided. Browning is due to the formation of compounds within the food which interact with light, absorbing some wavelengths but reflecting others. However, that is where the similarities between browning reactions end. Caramelization browning comes about by the heating of sugars to the point they physically break apart. Caramelization reactions can occur at lower temperatures but are greatly accelerated at temperatures above 150 C. Any sugar is capable of undergoing caramelization. The sugar molecule breaks down and rearranges to form hundreds of other compounds including brown pigments and compounds that have strong flavors. Pure caramelization is very rare in the kitchen as pure sugar systems are not very common. The term caramelization is often misused in culinary circles. For example, caramelized onions actually derive their color and flavor from the Maillard reactions and caramelization is a minor contributor. The most common browning in foods comes about due to Maillard reactions. These reactions begin with two compounds that must both be present for Maillard browning to occur, an amino group and a reducing sugar. Both of these compounds are found in most foods and therefore most foods are capable of Maillard browning. Like caramelization, the reactions can happen slowly at low temperatures but speed up greatly over 150 C. The reducing sugar combines with the amino group forming an unstable intermediate which begins to break down and react further generating both flavor and brown pigments. Maillard browning is responsible for the color and flavor of toasted and roasted foods such as bread crust, brown crust on roasted meats, coffee, and chocolate. Maillard browning is promoted by alkaline conditions and an alkali dip is what leads to the extreme browning on the surface of pretzels. The last type of browning is that brought about by enzymes in fruits and vegetables. In the intact plant, the enzyme responsible for this reaction, polyphenol oxidase, is kept in a different cellular compartment from its polyphenol substrate. Cellular damage, such as from a knife, disrupts this compartmentation and mixes the enzyme with the polyphenol and oxygen from the air. The enzyme combines them as a reaction to wounding to make protective compounds which prevent infection. The reaction does not generally generate flavors, but the brown color of oxidized polyphenols is usually regarded as a negative. However, in the production of black and oolong teas, oxidation is promoted to generate color and alter the flavor and aroma profile. Because this reaction is enzymatic, it is slowed down by lowering the temperature. Changing the pH, such as adding vinegar or citrus juice, also slows down the reaction. The reaction is prevented by inactivating the enzyme by cooking and denaturing it, or by the exclusion of oxygen, as it is a necessary component of the browning reaction. Antioxidants such as ascorbic acid can also be added to slow the reaction by either being oxidized themselves in place of the polyphenols, reversing the reaction by reducing oxidized polyphenols, or binding up oxygen.